Oh, hey. Uh, wait, you're not my sneaky link. While we wait for my sneaky link, aka my Uber Eats. Y'all, I'm not inviting just anybody into the space. So the fact that I'm inviting you in here means that you're a real one. And I really want you here and we can just hang out for the next couple minutes while I show you around my condo, aka my home. So this is the entryway. It looks kind of boring, but I promise you the rest of the space is a lot more exciting. So stay tuned. I just have my keys hanging here. I have my mirror cabinet. I have a couple secrets in there. I have a couple of hostages in there. You know the vibes. Anyway, we have a choice between going to the bathroom first or the kitchen. You choose. Which one do you want to go to? Kitchen. Kitchen. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, so I was acting like this was like a Dora, like you choose, but my dad chose the kitchen. So let's go to the kitchen first. In my kitchen, I do so much cooking, and by cooking, I mean heating up leftovers and ordering Uber Eats. So, I haven't become as domestic as I originally had wanted to, but yeah, I really don't have an excuse. I have the big light on right now, it's not very flattering, but for your viewing purposes, so you can actually see everything, I have it on. Usually, it's like this, so it's a little more like ambient. So, I usually would have this like stove light on, and then I just have this LED strip under lighting on. When I had the contractors come in, I was like, I need this. On my Pinterest boards, like every single kitchen had under the cabinet lighting. So, a little backstory. I'm buying a house. This condo I bought like two years ago. Welcome to my new condo that I just bought. Ah! And it looked completely different. It was like from the 90s, all old fixtures had carpet everywhere and it was like yellowing, not very modern at all. So I bought it and I was like, I wanna flip it. So my dad and I did a lot of renovating and we also hired contractors. So it looks completely different. If you haven't been following along, you should watch the entire renovation series. I think it's really entertaining and really stressful for me because we went through like two floods, fire in the building, constant fire alarms, fire trucks, lots of natural disaster vibes. And I also do live in Vancouver, so you know the earthquakes are a thing. So anyway, on to more fun things. This is my stove area. These are all new. And then my cabinets have gold handles, which I love. I'm a gold girl. I love gold jewelry. I love gold hardware. So I have those. And then I just have like some kitchen utensils. Ran out of paper towels, so this is currently empty, but I thrifted this. Here are my drawers. My fridge which I decked out a little bit with some magnets that I got from my recent Italy trip and then pictures with my sister from a wedding that we went to and I also thought these were really cute I thrifted these from a flea market this is me and my friend Sabrina and I have a little collection of duck magnets so I think this is cute I wanted to fill it up more with like Polaroids but I keep forgetting to take Polaroids of people when they come over and then on here I have this decal of it's a good day I made this with my Cricut and I stuck it on here I think it's so cute and then I love this wall that I recently made it's got a bunch of pots and pans I love this copper tone I wish these were gold to fit with the other gold accents but I couldn't find any and then I have a bunch of my actual utensils I thought it was cute but it's not actually very practical because whenever I open my door to do laundry, I actually have to take off these two pans, but it's kind of a sacrifice that I was willing to make for the vibes. Yeah, I inconvenience myself a lot for the vibes. Anyway, on this side, I have microwave. I love this little station. I stand here a lot. So I have my cutting board that's like wavy checkered and I don't actually use it that much for like practical purposes because I don't want it to like stain or break because it was so expensive, but I bought it from a small business called Momi, Mommy, Momi? Mommy! Yeah, so instead I bought these like plastic cutting boards that are clear to match with the aesthetic because I have like white, would you say it's marble? Unsure, white something countertops with marble backsplash. And then these two are from Amazon. They also match with, you know, the warm toned neutral kind of. Ah! Anyway, inside my cabinets, I have all my tableware, anything else exciting, all my drugs in here, my Advil for when I get women's holiday cramps, which is often. And if anybody wants to fight me, I can 
you know, I'm just saying I can play. So in here I have all my utensils. I have gold utensils. I wanted everything to be gold. I just get so fancy using them. I'm pretty sure they're like the same price as regular utensils on Amazon. These are all my snacks. What do you want? What do you want? You want pearl chips? You want Pocky? You want expired Cheetos? I got them all. I want to say that I don't reach in here often, but that would be a lie. So I'm going to close that. And I have nothing in here. Classic. On this side, I do want to show you this even though I'm like, does anybody want to see? I installed this garbage recycling system. And it took me so long to find the right size, but I really like it because it's like so sleek and like easy. The tubs just like come out. I also have a compost bin over here. I don't have a bag in there right now, but it's like so easy to, so easy as I'm struggling right now. It just like flips like that. And then on this side, oui, I have all of my swasses. Okay, let's move on. Here's my bathroom. So this bathroom I'm obsessed with because look at all these faces. You can look at your beautiful face while looking at a bunch of other beautiful faces. I made this with my Cricut machine and I just like plastered it all over. I just think it adds just like a fun vibe to the room. Otherwise, it's just very like sterile and white. So I like the statement. I like this mirror because it like dims, but my only complaint is when I turn it on and off, it gets a little bit annoying and it is a little bit of a jump scare when people use it for the first time. It's giving very much like Chinese like Bluetooth speaker when it goes Bluetooth successfully connected. Anyway, this is new. The toilet's new. I mean, essentially everything in here is new. The tile is new. I also do have a shower back here that used to be a glass door, but it was a little bit too clunky for the size of bathroom. So I switched it to this shower curtain that I made out of a burlap sack. I think it's really cute. I have drawers. It's kind of like toothbrushes and and whatnot for whenever my friends stay over. But otherwise it's like pretty empty in here. Okay, from this hallway, enter my dining room. I have this whole gallery wall behind me that I love. It's very inspired by my trip to France and just Europe in general. After I went to Europe for the first time, I was like, I want this kind of artwork everywhere. So I put like wall moldings on the wall and I put this gallery wall up. Most of these are thrifted, like this badminton racket. Everyone asked me if I like cats, but um, I just thought it was cute. I love this. It's just like a bowl of like veggies and stuff. And this one, it's like Asian inspired shell art. So I thought that was cool. And then if you just like go around, I don't know, there's like always something interesting to kind of look at. And I got this artwork when I went to Italy this past recent time. Thrifted, 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 everything is thrifted. I feel like this whole wall cost me like a hundred dollars max which I feel like it's pretty good and then I have this media unit storage cabinet that is this like dark walnut I love this pattern on the bottom it's like very geometric it's fun to touch on top of here I have this plant everyone asks me what kind of plant this is and I'm like it's Ikea. It's fake. All my plants are fake because I can't keep them alive. Even if it's like succulents that you barely have to water, like they always die on me. Is that a me problem? Like yes, but I'm not gonna say it is. Anyway, then I have a bunch of wine here from my housewarming party and who's gonna come over and help me drink it? Cause maybe we can have like a rom-com watch party and we can just drink a bunch of wine, have a good time, you know? I also have a bunch of trinkets here. I have this little head scratcher if you guys have ever seen this. You basically just oh that feels insane oh I also have these coasters that I made in one of my makeover videos so these are just really cute and wanted to add a bit of color to this like vintage -y area I also have this light that we installed I love the little globe lights it ties in with the other globe lights in my condo but I do wish that I could change the color temperature because now that I have other lights in here this is something that I never thought about the fact that different color temperatures don't really mix that well but alas I'm still happy with it I love this table it's from article so are all these chairs like look at this it's white and wood and it's exactly the color palette that I love and then like the table is like super sturdy it's like super heavy. I also have this fake rose shrub and then I have a real flower arrangement disguised in there. And that's my dining area. Now moving on. Welcome to my living room. This is one of my favorite rooms and I have some direct sunlight going right now. It is the dead of winter here in Vancouver. Usually we do not get sunlight. It's cold. It's damp. It's just 
There's no vitamin D. I don't know who blessed me today. I think it's because I was streaming Pitbull earlier in the day today. And I just believe that Pitbull has like unlimited powers. Anyway, as you can see here, I have my beautiful wall with stars and I made these with my Cricut. And then in the middle panel, I have my time panel, which is, I mean, I like to say it's to try to keep me on track, but actually none of the watches slash clocks are functional. So it's more just like a, oh, time flies type of thing. But I just liked this because I found it at the thrift store. I thought it'd be a nice centerpiece. But when I first put it in, it was just this. And then I added all of these extra time pieces there. So I hope it looks good. I like that everything is gold and like wood toned. So it like all comes together. This sofa is so beautiful and it's my favorite. Wow, we have maybe five minutes of direct sunlight and then it's back into winter mode. So I'm trying to turbo mode this. But this couch is from Cozy. I love it. I've fallen asleep here so many times and I've used it as like a guest bed. So many people have stayed over on this. And I also have this lamp that I really like. It's from Wayfair. It's these like globe lights and I put my own RGB lights in there so that I can change the colors, put it on like night mode, like little ambient lighting. At night and then this rug is from Ikea and a lot of you guys said that this was too small for the space I actually agree I wish it like extended a little bit further but I just really like the pattern and they didn't have a bigger size so we're just gonna have to deal with that this is also from article I have this flower arrangement that I got from a wedding that I actually really didn't want to take but they were like no please take it so I was like fine I'll take it so this was like a real live moist flower arrangement originally, but now it's dried and it looks so good, except for the fact that it sheds everywhere. Other than that, it's perfect. And then I have this little chess board that I got from Mexico. I never play because nobody will play with me and I'm also really bad at chess. Like, if you think you're bad, no, I'm worse. All these wall moldings are made by me and my dad. I feel like it adds a little bit of character to the walls without it being like so in your face. So if you ever want to add a little dimension to your wall, I would highly recommend adding wall moldings. They don't have to be like this kind of old vintage-y looking frame, but they can just be like sticks of wood. It just adds a little something, you know? Moving on to this wall. We also have some wall moldings on the bottom. So I didn't want to do the whole thing. It like takes quite a bit of time, I'm not gonna lie. Up here I have this generic stock photo canvas from Ikea that I got on Facebook Marketplace. And I was like, oh, this is so ugly. I'm gonna paint over it. I actually quite like it because it matches with my rug. I do feel like my space is missing this kind of color. And then right here, I just have this lantern that I thrifted and this pedestal that I have no idea where it's from, but I really love it because it matches with the aesthetic. And it's just like a little, little accent, you know? I stole this from my parents' house. I was like, can I take this? They're like, yeah, sure. Like we didn't even know it was there. So I was like, perfect. Okay, so moving on from this space, we have the window and I love my windows. When I was touring places, I absolutely 100% wanted to see like windows just because like I love the airiness and all the natural lighting that comes from it and I just love like high-rise buildings at this point in my life I'm a city girl so I want a city view and that's exactly what I have so I have a view of downtown Vancouver and at night it's like super nice with all the twinkly lights I'm just like living the dream and then I have these curtains that I tried to like pin to the wall but they keep falling but imagine it's like that I sometimes close them but I actually don't really like these curtains I thought about just like taking them down but they're still here right now let me know do you like them or not and then I have my gigantic TV. This is what it usually looks like, actually. Look at how good it looks with the direct sunlight. Oh, it's giving vintage French painting at the Louvre. Maybe I'm gassing it up too much. Like it's literally just a stock photo from the Amazon Fire TV catalog. But I really love it. And I have this frame that I made with my parents. Actually, like it looks really simple, but it actually took so long. A lot of my decor is more like vintage looking. So I wanted the TV to not stick out as like the only modern thing, you know? Moving on from this space, we enter the second bedroom, guest bedroom, office, solarium prison cell I don't know anyway come on in so we have a bed in here so this actually pulls out into like a queen size bed so sometimes people stay in here as like a guest bedroom I used to have a roommate here who lived here for like a couple months my friend Sabrina so right now I kind of just use this as like a secondary space if I want to just come in here and chill because the lighting in here is the best it's my favorite there's like storage space under the bed I have a mirror here hello oh and I really like these lights that we installed so the ambient lighting is like warm I really like this room I wish this lighting was more consistent throughout, but what can you do? 
Anyway, moving on. Now let's head over to my bedroom. I always say that magic happens here, but if by magic, I mean no sleeping. Pretty much the opposite of magic. So this is my bedroom. I recently decorated it with a bunch of posters and it's so much more fun now. I do think it is a little bit like teenage girly. I just like want to be a kid again. You know, I don't want like serious adult decor. I have all these alcoholic graphic posters and Aperol Spritz, gin tonic. I actually have no idea what a French 75 is, but I just thought it'd look cool, you know? And I got this calendar from Italy. It has a bunch of like car graphics on it and look at how cute that is i got it specifically because of this one alfa romeo car this one i'm a huge f1 girl and i'm not an alfa romeo fan i actually think that they axed the team for this year so i don't really care that much because i don't care about the drivers sorry i'm a ferrari girl to show you i'm a ferrari girl let's take a look inside my closet i have my beloved f1 jacket ferrari girl look at that look at that anyway this closet is actually very very interesting because my dad and I built it from scratch. I'm obsessed with this. We also built this from scratch and it has these shelves that, you know, you can obviously adjust the height of but i stack my clothes all like a bookshelf so it's really satisfying and i find that i can only stay organized if the organizational method is really satisfying so this helps me keep track of what i'm looking for and also helps me you know keep things in place because they have a system that will look really nice in the end okay moving back towards the bed area i have my nightstand i brought this from la and you can like adjust the brightness you can adjust the colors oh this is cute i have my gen z sorrow soup in here if you recognize this from a certain music video cleaning up an offer for my life for my cries on the floor this is my comfy bed. I have it a little bit like yellow themed and warm toned. It's matching me. The bed frame is from Wayfair. I love it. I love the gold and this kind of like tufting pattern. These sheets are so comfy. They're from Brooklinen. And then when I wake up in the morning, I see these posters. They're very much like lucky girl, like be happy, like live, laugh, love vibes. It just makes me happy when I wake up in the morning. I have this mirror here that I hauled from LA in my U haul and I don't really ever use it. I think most of the things that I haul from my U-Haul are just like sitting and are not really touched. Actually no, I hauled this lamp from LA and I actually do use it so that's been good and I do use this keyboard too which I hauled from LA. Oh I guess I also use this chair and I also use this desk so take everything that I just said and throw it in the toilet. I'm pretty sure all of these things are from Amazon. I also got this Aperol Spritz poster from Italy. <gasps> Wait, the sunset is so pretty. Moving on from the bedroom into my bathroom. I spend an embarrassingly long amount of time in here just staring at myself. I mean, you kind of have to be a narcissist to be a YouTuber, but mainly it's because I spend so much time popping pimples and putting pimple patches on them. That was a whole other thing. As some of you know, this panel was cracked when it arrived. So the company actually like gave me the whole cabinet for free. At first I was like, oh my God, like I got a free cabinet. But I have been looking for months for a company that will fix the panel. And right now it's like with a glass company and I have heard nothing from them. So they could have stolen it and I just will never be able to retrieve it again. But I feel like even if it's is open like this it's fine like am i just lying to myself i think i'm just like gaslighting myself into thinking it'll be fine i don't know anyway inside here i have my skincare it's not like super aesthetic right now it used to be because it all used to be like drunk elephant products but they are really expensive but don't actually help me that much so right now I just have them for decoration purposes i'm like channeling my inner 12 year old running around at sephora and then in here oh i have my little blend duck norris a little rubber floaty i think this is so cute oh my bath curtain. These are all the faces that are sampled from the bathroom 
outside. I just wanted to continue with the bathroom theme. My dad and I painted this. It took a painstakingly long amount of time, but I think it turned out so cute. This is my bathtub and it's white marble, which is my fave. I've never taken a bath in here because I'm like, I love the idea of a bathtub, but like the actual like process of taking a bath is like you have to clean the tub, you have to fill it up with water, and then you like sit there and then you just like basically just sweat in there. And what do you do? Like I just like scroll on my phone. I'm like, I could just do this on the toilet. I don't know if you needed to know all that, but anyway, this is my sink area that matches the one outside. And I obviously just have like all my products in here and then this is all my strainers dyson air dryer you know oh a lot of pads a lot of pads and that's my bathroom let's head out all right well that was my completed condo tour two years later if you have any questions about where anything is from leave me a comment down below i'll try to get back to you or if you have questions about how i made things i will also get back to you with a video link yeah now i have to get back to watching drive to survive so i'm gonna need you to leave me alone so that's your cue to leave. No, why are you still here? Are you expecting me to say something? Like announce big news or something? Okay, fine. If you must know, I'm moving. Okay, bye!